WWE presents WWE Main Event. Welcome everybody to WWE Main Event. You are looking live at a sold out arena here tonight. And tonight, we are ready to kick off what could be an historic night. And we have a bit of an announcement here. At Saturday's... At Saturday Slam against all odds. And speaking of against all odds, we're going to have a match because there will be an NXT Live Special. And a big spoiler, look, no, we're not having a match like that, so we are going to announce which, the kickoffs, I guess the odds we will determine which match will kick off, will kick us off first, will kick us off first, kick us off first, but the big one is that at Saturday Sam we will have the second semi-final match before our second as the warm-up match, because at, the, at, at NXT arrival, we will crown our first NXT Tag Team Champion, and, to, and then we will determine who will be the, and then after this special, we'll find out what the game predicts, who will be the winner, who will be the actual winner. So who will be getting the right to face the Ascension, and who, and who will be getting the rematch, according to this game. So here we go, guys, we got, we are on main event. And we got a t first match up here, as we got Squeaky Jane taking on Summer Rae. Let's go! Of course, Squeaky Jane won last night, won the NXT Women's Championship, even though that wasn't supposed to happen. But oh well, what are you going to do? And of course, we're here to announce that The Miz will defend the Mike from LA1 World Heavyweight Championship one last time before he finds out against Calvin Fuller. Here we go, and we are live from Washington, D.C. And Squeaky Jane, get G Squeaky Jean is getting ready for this matchup here tonight, and she will be defending her mat title again against Francisca Von Karma, the the diva that she pinned, that she pinned in that fatal four-way match, which you can see on my channel. Da 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 da. And by the way, I want to talk about a big subject matter here before we get started. Uh, if you guys follow Samoa Joe on Twitter, he recently announced that he is he left Impact Wrestling, which is. A huge announcement, a very big announcement, that he's parting ways, so I'm going to say that he's probably going back to ROH, but my money is saying that he's going to New Japan. So my odds of him going to WWE are very slim, although this time last year he fought Triple H follow Samoa Joe, So, there's a slight chance he could go WWE, but chances are he's probably going to Japan. I mean, the odds of him going to WWE are kind of slim, but but chances are, and bam, Squeaky Jean is dominating Summer. Summer A, so Francisco Von Karma better be watching this matchup. Oh, Summer's going top, top risk. Elbow drop, big time there for. And also, 
Last night we saw Sheamus beat Derek Gibson, and we can confirm that she will that Derek Gibson will put his title on the line against. Good pin right, nice pin, nice, nice kick out there by Squeaky Jean. Oh, there, that's a tough move right here. Let's see here. One. And Summer Rae has pinned the NXT Women's Championship. Champion. As Summer Rae pins the NXT Women's Champion, but coming up next. We saw them possibly reform last night on Raw as, NX, as they're filming SmackDown tonight. Which I was very surprised we got to see this. Darren Young, with a new bit who, who now looks like a badass. And Titus O'Neil taking on the double Canadians. That's possibly setting them up for another title match sometime down the road. So here we go. Uh, glitch. Millions of dollars, millions of dollars, millions of dollars. I love saying that. But here we go, guys. It's time at long last. And once again, if I look for a tag team, the Rude Canadians. Oh, here we go. We got a graphic here. Thank goodness we finally get to see a graphic. Oh, by the way, don't buy the DVD. It's basically the destruction of the Shield SummerSlam special. to deal with a fresh Mac Canadian. Mac Canada, excuse me, I keep saying what the game calls him. The Tower of London. Oh, but this one's spilling out of the 
a bulldog outside the ring. And that's it. The primetime players retain their championships. And we will be back in just a second. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. And it's time for our next matchup, which will be... A battle royal to determine who will be the last person to go into the... ECW World Television title match. Or the ECW World title match, excuse me, the ECW Championship, excuse me, let me rephrase that. And if you notice, there's Damien Mizdow in the background there. Because this could be the last weekend of him as a heel. Because we could see him turn on the Miz as early as sun this Sunday at Fastlane. Uh, so, here we go. Yellow face to eat a brand in Washington. Brandon Washington, Mark Henry, Troy Dillon, and the winner of this battle royal in a Fatal 4-Way Ladder match. Fatal 4-Way Steel Cage match, my bad. Here comes Artie Zip looking for his chance to compete in his very first world title match. World title match here tonight. So, could this be the life for him? Unless you're Simon Belmont, this is not the night for you. And Simon Belmont, he wants to get another sh championship gold. Tonight could be the night for him. And Noah Price, the former Mike from LA1 World Heavyweight Champion, the law and the longest reigning Mike from LA1 World Heavyweight Champion, might add, the only two-time Mike from LA1 Heavyweight Champion of the world, is in the Mike from LA1 World Heavyweight Tournament. Like, his first opponent will be Big Show. When will that match happen? You don't know. And Albert Novak, he wants to win a title, the title that will he will hear that he once held on to, the ECW World, tel, tel, world, world Title. 
Walter will tell us the but that guy is the bad news Barrett. And here comes a, a member of the shield. And he'll be he'll be competing with Dean Ambrose this Sunday. This Sunday, and here comes Damian Mizdow. I mean Sandow. We're gonna see can Miz can Sandow pull, go to the world television title this Saturday on at. Here we go. And Albert Novak goes right after Sandow. And Simon Belmont's almost out. Almost. Nice try. Nice try, Sandow. And Connor's been eliminated. And Noah's out. Well, obviously, that's not a big surprise, but actually, it is a surprise. He was the second one eliminated. Nice move there by Sandow. And already Ziff's been eliminated. Here it comes. The whip. The stake. Oh wait, the whip. Oh wait, that's it. The stake to the heart. That's did a nice DDT. There, there goes Sand out. Damien Sand out. That's it for Sander. That's all, that's it. Albert Novak is going to get a shot at the title. Sorry, Sandow. Better luck next time. And Albert Novak gets a shot at the ECW World Television title. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? We all thought his career was going nowhere, but Albert Novak gets a shot at the title. So coming up next is a champion versus champion match between the X Division champion Zayn and the television title holder, Jedediah. Jed won the title, which unfortunately got lost due to this corruption. 
like I said before. So, yeah. So here we go. We're going to see these two compete. And the more champions there are, the more champion versus champion matches we're going to see. And Zayn will defend the X Division Championship against who will be determined in a number one contender's battle royal on superstars. And here comes Zane. Heck, your X Division champion, Zane! And oh, we got a telegraph here, telegraph here tonight. That on SmackDown, where SmackDown will kick off in a triple threat ladder match to determine the television champion as Coach Hines invoked his rematch clause against Jed, Jed, and Mark and the Great Khali's in here. Oh, how lovely! The Great Khali in a ladder match. That's great. And that will kick off SmackDown, a triple threat ladder match. Here we go. This match will not be pretty. Rainbow Ridge versus Frontierland. Pin it all, he got rope break. Here it comes. Oh man, nice move there. Jed's probably gonna get this. And Jed beats Zane. In dominating and convinced, close to convincing fashion. So let's see how he does in that triple threat ladder match. And we'll be back in just a sec. Oh my goodness, the match, the camera changed angles. No, it did not. I, it took a long time for me to get my dinner and all. But anyways, we're back. It is now time for our main event. Which I had to set up again because my Xbox turned off. And it is a traditional six-man tag between of one team. It is... Oh no. Oh, thank you. The team of CM, the world WWE champion CM Punk, the world heavyweight champion Luke Gump, and the ECW champion Brandon Washington taking on the team of Orlando Tavares, Zack Slaughter, and Troy Dillon. 
So without any further delay, let's get this main event started. Who's now in UFC? And here comes the man that beats Sammy and Tyson. At thus putting him in a, a, a huge disadvantage. At Against all odds in an Armageddon Hell in a Cell match. And here comes Brandon Washington. Boy, if you're the ECW champion, you do not want to face in an Extreme Rules match, which by the way, I screwed that up. I'm going to check out which match is the Steel Cage, Fatal 4-Way Steel Cage match. But this is a Fatal 4-Way Extreme Rules match. And here comes the former X Division champion, Orlando Tavares. Who is Mr. Money in the Bank on the SmackDown side? Here we go. Yeah, I need to change it to someone's theme song here. Zach Slaughter. Zach Slaughter. Here comes Troy Dillon. Well, there's a lot of speculation that Troy Dillon could could potentially become world champion here tonight on Saturday Slam. Come Saturday Slam. Now, without any further ado. And in comes Troy Dillon. But wait a minute, Zack Slaughter. Oh my god! What in the world did we just see? Looks like we found Troy Dillon's next opponent. Oh, well, Troy was a heel anyway, so. So it looks like Troy Zack Slaughter is gonna. Oh, well, it looks like Troy Dillon and will have a match against Zack Slaughter. Whatever happen that is, well, how appropriate Zack Slaughter was in that match. Well, Zack Slaughter was 
the winner of a number one contenders match, I think. So I guess that's pretty much setting up that uh, world uh, ECW title match. So we're going to take a look at the card for superstars. And wow, card, the part of the card looks good. And oh, poor Cal, he's going to face Del Rio. That's going to be, I don't know. Let me think about the card and let me set up the video. So this is Mike from LA1 signing off. Thank you, folks, for watching.